The mountain bike industry is bigger than it's ever been. And these days you can get a bike designed for riding up, down, and over just about anything you can imagine. But as exciting as all this specificity is, there's a reason why trail bikes are still the most popular and best-selling bikes on the market. Instead of hyper-focusing on one single aspect of riding, these bikes are designed to excel climbing and descending a variety of terrain, making them the perfect bike to do it all. And in this video, we've chosen our favorite bikes for every budget, starting with a $1,700 sleeper and going all the way up to some five-figure super bikes. Now, even within this ultra versatile category of trail bikes, there's still a good bit of variety between wheel size, suspension travel, and geometry. And while there's definitely pros and cons to bikes on either end of the extreme, the ones we've chosen as our winners for these categories hit right about in the middle. All of them are full suspension 29ers with between 130 and 150 millimeters of travel. But for each price point, we've included a couple of runner ups that are equally impressive and may be better options for your needs. Speaking of the best option for you, I'm curious what your favorite trail bike is, and you can leave that down there in the comments. But right now, let's get on with our first category, which is the best trail bike for less than $2,000, which we awarded to the Marin Rift Zone 2901, which lists for just $1,699. A few years ago, the thought of getting a trail-worthy mountain bike at this price was unheard of. But Marin has done a fantastic job packing a ton of value, not just into the part spec, but also into the frame. Best yet, there's a good chance you could buy this from your local bike shop, as opposed to having to buy online from a direct-to-consumer brand, which is a huge perk for new riders. Despite its low price, the Riftstone's frame still gets many of the features that you'd expect to find on bikes that cost quite a bit more, like internal cable routing, ISCG tabs, and compatibility with SRAM's universal derailleur hanger and boost space hubs front and back. In terms of geometry, the Rift Zone is just about as average as you can get. And that's pretty perfect if this is your first mountain bike and you're not quite sure what discipline you really wanna lean into. The bike features 130 millimeters of travel in the back and 140 millimeters up front and gets a 65.5 degree head tube angle, 77 degree seat tube angle, and short 430 millimeter chainstays across all four sizes. The size large has a reach of 485 millimeters and the highest stack of any at our list at 637 millimeters. Having a high quality frame with modern standards is in our opinion, the most important thing you can look for when buying a budget bike. And Marin has definitely knocked that out of the park with the Rift Zone 1. Thankfully, however, they've also included a pretty dang decent set of components for the price. One of the big highlights here is air sprung X-Fusion suspension front and rear. The bike also gets an 11-speed Shimano Dior drivetrain with a wide range 11 to 51 tooth cassette and Tektro M280 hydraulic disc brakes. Lastly, the Rift Zone comes with tubeless ready sealed bearing wheels and 2.35 inch V Tire Co. Snap WCE tires, which are also tubeless. The Marin Rift Zone 291's combination of a dialed future proof frame and some pretty dang good components straight out of the box is going to earn it a 4.5 out of 5 goats. The only thing holding it back here is not having a dropper post. And funny enough, our two runner-up bikes actually do come with dropper posts, but they have their own setbacks as well. The Polygon Siskiyou T7 also gets a nice modern frame and decent components, but you can only buy that online since they are a direct-to-consumer brand. The Giant Stands 29.2, on the other hand, is also available in bike shops, does get a dropper post, but the frame on this guy is pretty outdated and is not gonna be a bike that you'll wanna keep and upgrade for the long run. Our next price category is two to $3,000. And that price point is as competitive as ever. And it was pretty tough for us to choose our winning bike. But we finally did settle on the YT Jeffsy Core 1, which lists for $2,799. Over the years, the Jeffsy has earned itself a bit of a cult-like following for its value-packed builds and all-around performance. At the heart of the Core 1 is the same sleek 145 millimeter travel frame that you'll find on all alloy models of the bike. In addition to the same modern standards you'll find on most bikes at this price point, the Jeffsy has two additional mounting bolts under the top tube to add a storage bag or tool holder. The bike is available in five sizes, each of which get a 65.6 degree head tube angle and 435 millimeter chainstays. The size large comes with a 481 millimeter reach, 622 millimeter stack height, and a 78.5 degree seat tube angle. Moving on to the part spec, and as you'd guess coming from a direct-to-consumer company, YT has packed a ton of value into this Core 1. Starting with the suspension, you're going to get a 150mm RockShox Lyric base fork and DLX Select Plus shock. You'll also get a SRAM NX 12-speed drivetrain, SRAM DB8 4-piston hydraulic disc brakes, and an in-house YT dropper post. 
The Core 1 rolls on a pair of Sunringle SR329 Trail Cop wheels, wrapped in a 2.5 inch Maxxis DHF in the front and a 2.4 inch DHR2 in the rear, both of which get Maxxis's EXO Plus casing and 3C rubber compound. In total, we have to give the YT Jeff C Core 1 a full 5 out of 5 goats. The attention to detail that YT has put into making this bike an all around shredder straight out of the box is quite apparent. They've refused to cut corners in even the seemingly minor areas like tires or cockpit setup. But like I mentioned earlier, there are loads of other great bikes in this two to $3,000 price category. Two that stood out to us are the SRAM GX equipped Fazari Cascade, as well as the aggressive short travel Canyon Spectral 125 AL5. Our next price category of three to $5,000 is one of the biggest and most diverse of any on this list. You can find a bike in this price range from just about every major manufacturer. And we went back and forth quite a bit on choosing our favorite, but ended up landing on the Trek Fuel EX8 GX Axis, which comes in at the top of our price limit at $4,999. This latest version of the Fuel EX is one of the most adaptive bikes on the planet, featuring six geometry configurations, an adjustable suspension leverage rate, and bullet compatibility. You'll also get in-frame storage on the EX8, which is still relatively uncommon for an alloy frame. The bike is available in a whopping seven sizes, which Trek claims fits riders from four foot nine all the way up to six foot eight. All of these bikes come with 140 millimeters of travel in the back with a 150 millimeter fork. In terms of geometry, in the bike's low setting with a neutral headset cup, you'll get a 64.5 degree head to bangle. Just about everything else will change based on frame size, maintaining an equal ride feel for the entire range of bikes. In the low setting, the size large gets a 485 millimeter reach 621 millimeter stack, 77.2 degree seat tube angle, and 440 millimeter chain stays. The Trek Fuel EX8 GX Axis is the most expensive alloy version of the bike you can buy. And as you'd imagine, that means you're gonna get some pretty fancy bits and pieces bolted onto it. As the name would suggest, this bike does come equipped with SRAM's all new GX T-type electronic drivetrain, as well as a pair of SRAM DB8 brakes. Suspension duties are taken care of by Fox, with a 150 millimeter Fox Rhythm 36 up front and a Flow X Performance Shock in the rear. Rounding out the spec is a nice set of high engagement Bontrager line comp wheels and 2.5 inch Bontrager XR5 tires. The combination of the frame's high degree of tunability mixed with the fact that you're getting SRAM's latest electronic drivetrain on this bike makes it a winner in our book. And we're gonna give this bike a full five out of five goats. Now at $5,000, you could get a carbon fiber trail bike from a variety of manufacturers, including Trek. But this bike is gonna be perfect for those of you who like to have the latest tech and features. A few other great options at this price point are the capable short travel Rocky Mountain Element A30 and the burly Ibis Ritmo AF. Now we've made it to our second highest price category, which is from $5,000 to $8,000. And it's here that we really start to see bikes with uncompromised frames and part specs. But before I tell you what the winner is, take a second to go ahead and like this video. That'll essentially tell YouTube to spread it around to more people and we'll get more views. <laughs> Thank you for doing that. Now, on to the winner, which is the Transition Smuggler Carbon GX Axis, which lists for $7,299. Despite being Transition's second smallest bike, the Smuggler has continually been praised for its ability to handle rough terrain while still remaining as playful and lively as you'd expect from a 130 millimeter travel bike. The bike is available in five sizes, small through double XL, and all feature a 65 degree head tube angle. The size large gets a 485 millimeter reach, 625 millimeter stack height, 78 degree seat tube angle, and 443 millimeter chain stays. This combination gives the transition the longest wheelbase of any bike on our list, which certainly plays a big part in the bike's poise composure in high speed sections of trail. The Smuggler Carbon GX Axis comes with Fox suspension, more specifically, you're gonna get 140 millimeter Fox 34 Performance Elite fork and Float Performance Elite shock. The highly tunable suspension that gets high speed and low speed compression and rebound adjustment should make it pretty easy for most riders to set up regardless of their size and riding style. Now, the real highlight of this part spec for me is the inclusion of SRAM's all new GX Axis T-Type drivetrain, as well as a pair of SRAM Code Silver brakes. The bike also gets Race Face Affect R wheels with a 2.5 inch 3C Maxxis Asagai up front and a 2.4 inch Maxxis Dissector in the rear. Another big highlight for me personally is the fact that the three biggest sizes all come with a 210 millimeter dropper post, which means long-limbed fellows like myself will still be able to take full advantage of that short seat tube length. 
One drawback though for some people will be that this bike does not come with in-frame storage like many carbon fiber trail bikes at this price range do. Instead, Transition has opted to add two mounting bolts on the bottom of the top tube. In total, we're gonna give the Transition Smuggler Carbon GX Axis four out of five goats. We love the bike's capable geometry and for the most part, burly part spec, but again, that 34 mil stanchion fork on there seems like a bit of an odd choice for a bike with this kind of pedigree. Two other great bikes at this price point are the fast XC oriented Santa Cruz Tallboy GX Axis, and for all the 27.5 fans out there, the ultra playful Yeti SB140 27.5 XT. Our fifth and final price category is for any and all bikes costing more than $8,000. And to be honest, at this point, it gets harder and harder to distinguish performance differences as you go up in price. But our winner here, the Specialized Stunt Jumper Pro, which lists for $8,000, includes everything you need from an elite level trail bike without any excess fluff to further increase the price. Like the Trek Fuel we mentioned a moment ago, the Stunt Jumper is loaded with modern amenities like in-frame storage and adjustable geometry. Speaking of geometry, the Stunt Jumper Pro is available in six sizes, all of which get 29 inch wheels, 130 millimeters of travel in the back, and in the low geometry setting, a 65 and a half degree head tube angle. The S4 frame size gets a 475 millimeter reach, 632 millimeter stack height, 76 degree seat tube angle, and 432 millimeter chain stays. As you'd imagine, the Stunt Jumper Pro gets all the latest fancy bells and whistles, including a Fox 34 factory fork and DPS factory shock. You'll also get a SRAM XO transmission drivetrain, SRAM code silver brakes, and a bike yoke revive dropper post. Lastly, the Stumpy rolls on carbon fiber Roval Traverse rims laced a DT Swiss 350 star ratchet hubs with a 2.3 inch specialized butcher tire up front and a 2.3 inch specialized purgatory in the rear. Our last bike, the Specialized Stump Jumper Pro, will once again earn itself a full five out of five goats. It really is a great testament to just how far mountain bike technology has come. And as weird as it may sound, calling an $8,500 bike a good value, you're actually getting quite a bit of bike for your money. Now, if you're interested in something that's just a bit more aggressive, has a little bit more travel, then you should check out the Pivot Switchblade XTR. And if you want the epitome of technical innovation and integration, then take a look at the Scott Genius 900 Ultimate. Let us know in the comments which of these five bikes you would choose, or if we missed your favorite trail bike altogether. While you're down there, if you haven't done so already, please go ahead and subscribe to the 99 Spokes YouTube channel. And lastly, remember that bikes are for everyone. Have fun out there.